Did you pack enough food? Food? I don't want you to starve, Alfred. You mean those rock-hard nuts? Yeah, I took some. Anyone seen Martha? She said she had to piss. All right. I'll uh, go get her. You're a mason too, right? Uh-huh. So, what have you built so far? I'm sure Jack would love to hear about your work. <laughs> They're looking for you. I don't want to leave. It's so dangerous out there. I don't want to get robbed again. My mother will protect you. She's strong, isn't she? Papa usually protects me. But he can't always be around. He needs to take care of himself too. I will always be around. That's not your job. You should look after yourself and your mother first. And I want to stay here where it's safe. This knight is Charles the Great. He will protect you. Oh. Am I his princess? You are. Together, you are brave and smart and will never give up. <laughs> All right. I have to stay steadfast. Thank you, Jack. Come on, we're going on a great quest. On our way, I told Martha the names of my trees. There was the birch, Jerusalem, and the oaks, Alexandria and Byzantium. When I pointed out Rome, she laughed and named an apple tree Southampton. The farther we walked, the merrier she became, christening all the new trees, Winchester, Bath, Salisbury, while I grew quieter and quieter. Finally, we arrived at a large road. This heads towards Shiring, Tom said. The strangest name of them all. By noon, we had reached the edge of town. Mother gave us some dry prunes to chew while she argued with Tom whether we should head directly to town or past the palace of the so-called bishop. Tom was hopeful to find work at the palace, but Mother seemed uneasy. Mother seemed happy to head directly into town and avoid the palace. These churchmen are all crooks, she said. But Tom answered with a worried expression on his brow. They might be the only ones willing to hire a mason around here. Shiring was full of people looking for work. Mother and Tom kept asking around while we rested our feet at the market. Alfred gave me a look as if he wanted to punch me, but I only stared at the buildings amazed by the straightness of their walls. Finally, Mother called us over. Rumor had it that the Earl of Shiring was hiring all kinds of people. It was then that I heard a man in a robe say, that voice, it's her, the witch. She was here 10 years ago. Apart from me, no one took notice.
You don't know me. You're misjudging whatever it is I did. I'm willing to forgive your mistake if you accept my offer now. This is all about family honor to you, isn't it? Perhaps I should tell you about my mother. She was a happy person who loved to laugh and tell stories, but father made her miserable. Oh, he's not a bad man, but solemn and strict. She hated him so much, she died from it. Are you saying you don't like me? You're so self-centered. You never think about anyone else's feelings. You have no refinement and you can barely read. What were you expecting? One day, you will see that you are wrong. And then, I won't be so forgiving. All right. Let's hope it's true and the Earl needs us. Yeah, I'm starving. Alfred, keep an eye out. I'll be right back. And boys, try to get along. An eye out for what? Papa wants him to look for things that are broken. Some people don't know they need a mason until you show them. Papa could fix their walls or build a house. One man can build an entire house? <laughs> I want to see. Learn what you can, but don't stray too far. Ugh. Why won't anyone just give me something to eat? Bruh. Jack, be careful. Don't get too close. Stay sharp, Jack. People are rarely what they seem. See that knight over there? What does he look like to you? He looks like a duck. <laughs> Ducks fly away when they don't like you. Maybe he will too. Or he will smash your skull with his club. Mm. Just because we are out of the forest, that doesn't mean there are no wolves about. allowed his daughter to refuse him. How scandalous. Well, William Hamley is an idiot. I wouldn't marry him either. She deserves someone better. Such a very bright and charming girl. No, she's an arrogant one. Just like her father. Don't say that. It's not arrogance. It's nobility. You have to be like that if you want people to respect you. I agree. She will do for you. It's the Earl's son. I'm Hello, my name is Jack. <laughs> To think that coward is set to be next in line. At least he knows how to order people around. Right. What a brat. What is it, boy? You just want to stand there and stare? All right, then. Let's see what you've got. Are you a knight? No talking. That'd be cheating. Ah, reckoned you'd be as ballsy as your ginger, but my mistake. Another time, perhaps. Cheers, lad. Are you knights? We are. Why, you want to be like us? Like you? Tell you what, 
Snatch us some food from the keep, and we might train you. Very good. That should be a valuable first lesson. Watch your step, you little twit. Don't mind him, boy. That's just William Hamley. He was hoping for a princess, but all he got was a boot. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? Do you think he forgot something? His dignity, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you strike me as an honest worker, but we have a right who does all the repairs for us. Then something else, maybe? I heard rumours that there's all kinds of work here. Well, unfortunately, it's not builders we're looking for. Actually, it's quite the opposite. I understand. Thank you for your consideration. Walk with me, boy. I'm sorry, boy, but Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. Lady Aliena? A charming young woman. She lives on top of the keep. Like a princess? Well, no. Although, I suppose she would make a splendid queen indeed. For now, she is just the Earl of Shiring's daughter. And quite good at her role, if I may say so. I want to see the lady. My, you are just as rude as her previous visitor, aren't you? All want, but no manners. Can I see her? May I see her? May I? As I said already, she won't receive any more visitors today. At least not any scoundrels. Not after that Hamley boy tried to propose to her. Again. She'd rather enjoy some quiet than another wide-eyed piglet who thinks himself a minstrel. Now, don't start singing, please. Hamley? Yes, Percy Hamley's son, William. Now, off you go. And farewell to you. We have followers all over the south of England. Of course. You're the Earl, after all. A title doesn't guarantee anything, my son. I don't understand. Is that why you sent all those letters? We only know what's happening in the south. But Earl Robert is in the west. Together we control the entire southwest. Not all of it. But we have messengers in place to keep us informed about everything. Now, be quiet for a moment. I need to think. Stop right there. I'm sorry, boy, but Lady Aliena won't see any visitors today. So, have you heard about anyone else who might need a mason? Hmm. Last summer they were building at the monastery in Shaftesbury, but they might be finished now. 
There's a princess in that tower. Already too many masons for too little work. I wonder what people think about the princess. What about Earl's castle? That's up to the Earl and his steward to decide. I can't say anything. Did you know there's a princess living here? Well, I heard the Earl has a daughter, but that's about it. A princess doesn't need something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I wonder what people think about the princess. There is one. What? There is a princess here. Oh, show me. 